Hey guys, how are you doing? Mina sa konnichiwa. My name is Cheese and welcome to my channel. Today I'm reacting to Attack on Titan episode 4. Yeah, things have gotten a lot more interesting. Like, we got introduced to a lot of new characters in the previous episode. Eren and the others started their military training, so they are now, you know, aiming to become like proper warriors to fight against those titans, you know? So yeah, we got introduced to these other characters who are also aiming to become those soldiers. There are a lot of like eccentric, interesting people out there. So that creates a lot of like different dynamics within that whole group of people, you know, which makes the story a lot more interesting. It's not just Eren, Armin and Mikasa, you know? There are a lot more characters that are changing the atmosphere every time. So there are some characters that I really want to get to know better. And of course, I'm also really curious to see how the rest of the training is gonna go. The previous episode really focused on balancing on those things, you know? But then at the end of the episode, we could see Eren already do all kinds of tricks in the air and I was like, Whoa, is that so easy, you know, just by being able to balance on that thing, you can already do all these kind of tricks. Maybe they just skipped a lot of time and training, but we'll see. I'm definitely really excited to find out what's gonna happen next. So without further ado, let's right into the episode, so let's go. Okay, I'm ready, so I'm gonna start the episode in three, two, one. Oh, they call it uh, Colossal Titan and the Armored Titan. Yeah, those two like di look different. Ooh. How many times are gonna show that scene, you know, of the mother? It was a nice uh, recap though, you know, showing the numbers, just explaining what the situation is right now. So they've already lost like one fifth of the population, of the entire population, which is crazy. I actually thought it was a lot more, you know, the numbers they mentioned before, they seemed a lot bigger. But one fifth is still a lot, of course. But then now that, yeah, but then territory wise, you know, they lost like one third, which is a lot more. So like, you know, if you think of it logically, it means that now a lot of people are, are you know, packed in a smaller, you know, area, smaller territory. So it's a lot more dense. Night of the Disbanding. Right? Okay, we're two years further. He's still harsh. <laughs> In the beginning, he was just insulting everyone. Oh, poor Armin. Yeah, he's a good guy. Ah, oh, yes. All right, cool. 
we get to like properly introduce to all these characters and sort of what they excel at, what they are less good at. Any? Oh, I'm not gonna remember all these names at once. I'm sorry. <laughs> these are a lot of names. John. Yeah, he's not very likable so far. Sasha, oh yeah, <laughs> she's so weird. <laughs> Makes her unfit, yeah. Her mentality is kind of eccentric, yeah. Oh, I missed his name. Not that I would remember anyways. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember the names that I find most interesting. So like Sasha, Jean, those were the ones who got like most attention in the previous episode. Of course, Mikasa and Eren, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, nice. Like, of course, titans are not the only things they have to fight against. They're still just military, you know. That look, though. I don't think she's just slacking off, though. You know, like, we know nothing about her, but she just doesn't seem the type to be slacking off. Woo! <laughs> that was so swift. She's good. <laughs> True. He was the one who came up with the idea. <laughs> nice try.
was <laughs> those two. You know, I, I understand where she's coming from. doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> Of course he's gonna look to Jean because that was like his main objective, right? To get into the inner circle. <laughs> wow. Again, picking a fight. Now he's getting angry. Oh, because of Mikasa. Oh yeah, she notices. Oh, that's what uh, Annie did to him. Nice. Oh yeah, okay. Just show them what the purpose of the training, you know? Oh yes. This is the Eren I would like to see, you know, who doesn't, you know, lose his control every single time. <laughs> oh. she gave her bread okay oh there were 218 of them it's quite a lot but just the fact that they're focusing on a small number of them like most of them are just not even gonna make it you know Okay, so there are three groups. Those ten, yeah, of course, the ones that they are focusing on. Oh, our 
Armin isn't even part of those ten. Yeah, I saw him standing at the back, it's like, huh? Yeah, he's not part of those ten. Right, it's not his goal. We know, we know, like, we know that that's Eren's goal, but he cannot force those thoughts on everyone, you know, you cannot, not everyone can have the same mentality. Yeah, she's just gonna follow Eren, you know? <laughs> That's her main goal. <laughs> Doesn't matter, that's a big sister for you. wondering when we get to see him of course I know him but like I was just so curious Again, bring that up. Oh, Adam grew up. Even Connie. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, she's so dumb. Like, all she can think about is food. And like, I'm the same, but not to that extent, you know? <laughs> I just feel so bad for the other people, you know, now they get like all motivated to get into the Reckon Corps, but I, I can already sense that they're gonna be the first ones to die. <sighs> yep, I called it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen, but that's kind of the feeling I have. See, you see them getting all motivated. She's dumb, but she can't move. <laughs> Look at that head! <gasps> it's like no warning at all. you're getting a bit hasty I don't know <laughs> oh my god look at that thing <laughs> no <laughs> what is this already the end of the episode <laughs> wow it went by so fast <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This is just episode four, guys. <laughs> oh, we're def oh, we're just not getting a break ever. Whew. 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 Yeah, I'm getting hot. Um. Yeah, let me just use this and then to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and I'll stop. I can't calm down. Oof. Alright, so the whole episode 4 of Attack on Titan and things are getting crazy again. I don't know how to feel. I'm so I'm so speechless with how they ended this episode. You know, I was not expecting that giant Titan to see again so soon, you know? <laughs> they were even talking about that Titan in this episode and like, no, it's not gonna come back so soon, you know? <laughs> and right after that. Whew. 
I still cannot calm down. It really is crazy. Um, they let you start from the beginning of this episode. So they actually just skipped the entire training part. So they had two years of training. They had the graduation. So yeah, they actually went through that quite fast. So that's what I actually was surprised about. They also show what the most important characters are capable of, what their good points are, what their weak points are. So I was really glad they did that because that also gave me an indication of which characters to focus on because there are so many characters and with so many different names it's just hard to keep track of and it's also hard to focus on everyone so it's good that they actually showed a couple of those characters and that also showed me which characters to focus on so for example Jean, um, Annie, Sasha I think those three are the most important ones for now there were more, there were more, but those three are the only ones I actually remember properly. Oh yeah, and uh, also the, the blonde guy, the, the really nice guy. I forgot his name as well, but yeah, those are the characters that I still remember, aside from the main characters, of course. We also slightly got a glimpse of the Reckon Corps, you know, the ones that Aaron and the others will be joining. So Levi or Levi, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but I mean, like, everyone knows him. Even if you haven't seen Attack on Titan, you just know that character. And I'm just so ready to get to know him. Like, I really know his name and what he looks like, but I know nothing about his personality or anything like that. So I'm just so excited to see more of him. But yeah, then we had a little discussion between Annie and Aaron about you know, what they're training for, you know, and he really pointed out the irony that the people that are allowed to get into the military corps and military troop, I don't know what they call them, there were only 10 that were allowed to get in, but those are the ones that will eventually be the furthest away from the titans, which is a little bit crazy, you know, like what is the point of all the practice then you just need to get in the top 10 and then you can take it easy that's kind of what it feels like so that was really interesting that you pointed that out and it also made a lot of sense you know so after that during that dinner where Aaron indeed had another you know scuffle with Jean about that so like he brought that up again and had his speech as usual you know like we already know Aaron's goals what his dreams are what he's aiming for he just want to kill all the titans but he's really like forcing that ideal on everyone else and it seems like he successfully influenced a couple of these characters you know like we saw at the end you know that more of these characters joined the Reckon Corps instead of the military crew because they got apparently influenced by Aaron's words which I was not really buying to be honest but they just need to show that Aaron's speech was effective I think but of course you cannot expect that everyone will be you know convinced by Aaron's words and are willing to risk their lives instead of taking an easy life, you know? But yeah, in any ways, we know Eren is gonna join the Reckon Corps together with Armin and Mikasa and a couple of other side characters followed. And like I said, I just don't think that those others will make it, you know? They just didn't have the attention yet and they also seem really easily influenced by other people's words and they they just don't have the same conviction as Aaron does, so I just don't think they're gonna make it, to be honest. But that also kind of showed, you know, at the end of the episode when the, the giant titan came again. That was so unexpected. <laughs> oh, that moment where we saw his face behind Aaron just pop up out of nowhere. Oh my gosh. At first I was thinking like, am I seeing this right? Is this just... Aaron's imagination, but no, he was actually standing behind Aaron. Whew. But yeah, now we get to the moment where I'm kind of afraid of that Aaron is gonna get too naive again, that he thinks he can take on that Titan. You know, he was like, yeah, this is the moment we've been waiting for, this is the time to counterattack, but have you seen that Titan? It's huge. I don't think it's gonna go according to Aaron's plan. Yeah, they definitely need some backup. Maybe this is the moment that we get to see the actual Reckon Corpse, you know? The people that are already experienced, such as Levi. But this might be the chance to get, actually get to see the other, the more experienced people in action. But yeah, I'm just so scared. I'm just afraid that Aaron will get like too reckless and because of him that the others are also gonna get in danger as well. Yeah, I have just a bad feeling about this, um, but we'll see what's gonna happen. So yeah, I cannot wait to see the next episode, but it was my reaction. I hope you enjoyed it, so if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. 
And if you cannot wait to see my react to the next episode, you can already find it on my Patreon. There you can get early access to three episodes ahead. So if you're interested, please go check it out. You can find the link in the description box below. But then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.